sometimes I think if I could just get to my best life. Here we go! Do you ever find yourself thinking of the next best thing or the next best purchase or maybe the, the next best vehicle, whatever? Um, sometimes we always feel like we need something new. Maybe it's a new ride or maybe it's a, a new job or a new movie or a, a, a new song, new music, a, a new vacation or something. It's always something new that we're looking for. Uh, and what I'd like to talk about real quick is is uh, the happiness that, that that is in that or the lack thereof. Uh, so you can you can constantly be searching for something to fulfill that happiness void. Uh, and and I'm not saying that buying a new vehicle is wrong or going on vacation is wrong, uh, but we got to stop sometimes and think. Okay, if if I'm always constantly trying to fulfill the joys of the outside have I really been uh, given and paying attention to what joy has been fulfilled on the inside because if we're constantly looking for something outside to make us joyful it's because we've not allowed the Lord to fulfill us right here on the inside I want to share some scripture with you uh, real quickly and it's in Luke uh, chapter 1, verses 39 through 45. Now, this is, is uh, the modern English translation. And it, it starts at this. We know the story. But it says, At that time, Mary got ready and hurried to a small town in the country of Judea, uh, where she entered Zechariah's home and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby leaped in her womb. you got to remember, Elizabeth was uh, John the Baptist's mother. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. Uh, in a loud voice, she exclaimed, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the child you will bear. But why am I so favored that the mother of my Lord should come to me? As soon as the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the baby in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed is she who has believed that the Lord will fulfill her promises to her. The one thing that struck uh, me about that scripture that I've never uh, really looked at is uh, the way Elizabeth reacted uh, when when Mary got there. You know, you got to think Elizabeth uh, was already pregnant, and uh, and and uh, with with John when Mary got there and was pregnant with Jesus. Most of us would say, uh, "Yeah, that's nice that you that you're pregnant, but look, I'm already showing I'm pregnant too." Uh, most of us would say something. Of the like, you know, well, it's it's like we automatically go into comparison mode, right? So when when uh, you have a brand new vehicle and then you pull up next to some one of your friends that has a brand new vehicle, uh, if you don't compliment each other in some kind of way, it goes into a competition. It goes from compliment to competition. Uh, but Elizabeth didn't do that. She didn't even mention her child. What she mentioned was, I am blessed because you came with your child. Uh, and that really struck me because it, it, it shows that she has a level of happiness uh, that, that she is, is happy enough within herself. She's carrying a child of her own, you know, but she chose to recognize Mary's child. And we know that it's Jesus. We know that that's God incarnate. Uh, but many of us would would uh, would feel almost threatened when when somebody new or better had something new or better you know come into our lives right there that that kind of overshadowed uh, where we were or what we had uh, but she didn't act that way right so that shows a level of inner peace and inner happiness and she knew that she was blessed just by Mary's presence with uh, being pregnant with Jesus there. Uh, and, and I'd like to take that example and supply it to our lives. Uh, I wrote something down in my prayer journal I'm going to read to you. We always need something new, a new ride, a new movie, a new song, a new vacation, and that'll make me happy, right? Temporary glimpses of happiness is all that is. Does this sound familiar? 
it's because if we always have to have something new on the outside, we've renewed nothing on our inside. That means our heart. Our body decays, but the inner man needs to be renewed every single day. And we feed our body every day, right? We know this. And I'm not talking about food. I'm talking about entertainment, new vehicles, you know, trips, uh, whatever. You know, whatever it is. Uh, we, we feed the flesh every single day. But do we take, take the time to renew that inner man every single day? Uh, so let's focus on God and we won't be so discontented that we have to have something new to satisfy our desire for joy. That only comes from what God puts inside of us in the first place. So I want to encourage you today and say, look, even though that we might be in quarantine and a lot of us can't go places and a lot of us can't do things and, and we can't go to beaches without, you know, threatening of corona or something like that, that's not what makes us happy. What makes us happy is a true inner man relationship with Jesus Christ. And I want to encourage you in that true inner man relationship with the Lord. Uh, because if you get that inner man fed, you're going to be a strong man or a strong woman. If you get that inner man fed on a daily basis, you're going to be renewed on a daily basis. And you'll find yourself not so worried about feeding the flesh, but you'll find yourself more concerned uh, and, uh, with the inner man's strength and happiness. And that's where true joy is. I'm going to pray. Father, I love you. I thank you for these people. I pray, Holy Spirit, that you be with them in this time. God, and I pray that you show them that your promise uh, is yes and amen. Your promise, if it's not manifested yet, it is on the way. Uh, all we're waiting on is the fruition of it. God, we give you honor, glory, and praise. We ask that you keep us, lead us, guide us, protect us, and direct us. In your sweet holy name, amen. Listen, I love you.